Did I honestly not finish? Like, it looks like it's already finished. I'm not sure why it's saying that there was a thing available at this location. But we might as well talk to Gut Gash and see what else he's got lined up for us. Also, wouldn't mind hearing from Gut Gash how the hell Hope. Um, no, I'm sorry. Was it Hope or was it Glory? I keep forgetting their goddamn names. Yeah. How the hell Hope ended up going from her cell here to dragged along behind, uh, what was that guy's name again? Stank Gum. Yeah, because he was there at, uh, Pinkie Pie's location. All around us, the grounds were covered in wet, salty water full of life. My people believe this water will come back to us on our day of reckoning. Then we must be ready. We must patch our ship together and make her whole once more. Do you believe that? They need to cling to it. And personally, I see an acute necessity to armor this wreck up, prepping for the wave of man scum which will soon come crashing down. A war boy army. Lord Scrotus, back from the dead. <laughs> Help me get the steel I need. Not the brown rotted sheets of wafer you find out here, but real prime steel. With it, I can reward you in armor or scrap, and find plenty extra to fix up my hoe. Yeah, so we unlock an armor upgrade if we find some uh, fresh steel in some tunnels to the east, which are apparently east. Where am I going? The eastern tunnels. That's where you'll find the steel. Okay, there we go. Yeah, so that's where it is. Uh, oh, way over here. Okay, so we can fast travel to this location and just drive down the road. That was the other reason to do the uh, the, the death run mission, just to have extra fast travel locations. And actually, while we're going, we'll stop off at Griffith's and do our last upgrades. See what more he has to share. I do kind of regret doing all that grinding all at once, because what that means is I get less opportunities to talk to Griffith. I've only seen him, like, twice in this entire game. Which means I'm missing out on a lot of um, a unique dialogue that won't be available anymore. So whatever he's got to say now, it better be damn well important. Yeah, so the colors are already desaturating as soon as they get closer to him. I'm leaving for a while. Something I gotta do. Well, what a long, strange trip it's been, Griffa. What do you got what do you got for me? from your twisted path I'll help you find what you seek but first answer me this what the other ones that you don't kill who are they to you I use them and they me if there's no game what's the use what's the use I'm asking you that but you have no answer have you? Yeah, that's very clear. <sighs> Not quite as insightful as I was hoping, but it does kind of lay into Max's mindset how everyone uses each other for whatever they can gain. Yep. That is everything. Max is now all he can be. Not getting an achievement for that, oddly enough. So I have beaten this game before, but that was on the Xbox One. I kind of figured there'd be something that popped off whenever I did that, but... Who knows, maybe, maybe we'll see Griffith again at some point. What do I know? In the meantime, we still have... 
Our mission to find some prime steel. Hopefully get ourselves another armor upgrade. Yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and go straight for it. Go off-road a bit. That's the worst that could happen. Other than that. It's not like I'm going too much slower on sand as opposed to uh still shot. What do you know about the Eastern Tunnels? I, I know them. Burrows of the old steel serpents. There's fine steel there. Oh yes, yes. But buzzards also. Red eyes. Please watch me. Just show me where it is. I take it there aren't a lot of forges running in the post-apocalypse. Even though you'd think there would be. Like, forges aren't exactly, like, you know, modern technology. They've had them around since the Dark Ages. This opens from the inside. Uh, there's an opening. Huh? Over there. Huh? Big enough to slide through. Stay here. I'll go around. Oh, certainly, certainly. And yet, yeah, 11 scrap to be found on the way in. There we go. Joy to us! You made it! Does it open? Praise me! Why couldn't I have done that from this side? Hell, for that matter, just use the harpoon and fucking pull the thing open like you do so many other times. Over that way. Oh, tread carefully. There are buzzards in this hole. Plenty of traps all over the place. Oh. Okay, go ahead, pop out for this scrap. I didn't like that apparently. Also, four scrap. Come on, game. Don't be so stingy. Oh, blocked! Whatever it is, the angel can surely exercise the evil. Oh, I can just quick pull it. Okay. I think I'm walking here. Yep, definitely walking. Subway. Eat fresh. Oh. Deep underground tunnels may have pre-fall underground construction such as sewers and subway tunnels. I guess I could always play the Metro games, but I didn't really like the first one, to be honest, so... Going through the remaining two, now that there's a trilogy. And it doesn't really feel worth it to me. Also, am I supposed to... Come on, you can do it. Oh, shit. Not doing that. I do like landing these. Not a whole lot of work required there, thankfully. Oh, there's another thingy. 
I can't help it, guys. I'm sorry. I have to pick up every stupid thing I see. Especially if it's shiny. Decades of gamer training. You can't you can't turn that off. Push the subway car out of the tunnel. Oh, that's where the metal comes from. It's literally just one of these fucking subway cars. Oh, I see. I'll use the car to push it out. How do I get up there? Maybe there's like a ramp that shows up or something, but... How do I use the car to push this out? No, seriously, how do I use the car to put like, am I going the right way? Am I running further and further away from the goal? Like, you gotta figure there's a way for me to get the car in here. There's gotta be a way I can open up the, a route for the for the Magnum Opus to come in behind me. All right, let's see if we can figure it out. Okay, um... I am so lost right now, holy crap. Yeah, this whole thing is blocked off. Pop this open? Is this a thing? Nope. Take it up this way? No? What do you want from me, game? Oh, camera changed for a second here. Nope. Weird quirk. Okay, well, I'm very clearly meant. I was meant to pop that open with my uh, with my crowbar. And I can't go back that way. And these hanging bits are only a problem if you're in the car. So I'm cl I'm meant to come through here in the car. I know that. There's got to be a way I can open up a path for the magnum opus. Oh, this is aggravating. So yeah, the Metro series. If you like running around in subway tunnels, boy oh boy have I got the series for you. Apparently based on a pretty popular um, post-apocalyptic novel series that I hear is supposed to be pretty good or wouldn't have been option to a video game in the first place. But it's kind of got this weird uh, paranormal bent to it. Where, like, there's also ghosts in addition to, uh, like, your usual post-apocalyptic mutants and, like, art, like, you know, armies and cults and whatnot. Like, half the plot revolves around these ghost beings called Dark Ones who may or may not be ghosts of people who died when the bombs fell. It's all very... Something is blocking the path pseudo-spiritual, in a way. Okay, so yeah, another roadblock they want us to get through.
This is way more trouble than it's worth. Holy crap. Gotta call the humpback now. The humpback? Dude, he has a name. I call him now? Nope. How about now? Nope. Yeah, there we go. There he is. I'm here for you. I wonder why didn't we just come through here in the first place? Do I blow it open? Is that an option? Yes, yes it is. Off my car. I'm not going back for that uh, that container. It's not worth it. Thank you. Okay, so here's what we do. We gotta push this thing out. Shotgun out because if anything jumps in the car, I can just blast it off. The spikes that are all over my car are supposed to be able to repel borders, but I have not found that to be the case. Also, my car is about to explode. Kind of hoping for a chum bucket repair upgrade at some point, but haven't seen hide nor hair of that. Baby hits 88 miles per hour, you're gonna see some serious shit. Uh, Back to the Future is so good. I'm gonna start talking about Back to the Future for a while, probably. You can't stop me. No one can stop me. I remember seeing Back to the Future, like, as a kid, and thinking, okay, this is a pretty decent adventure movie, but then I ended up seeing it again, like, two years ago at a film festival. I was like, wow, this is actually a really well-made movie. Like, the foreshadowing is handled so well. Like, it's really, like, it's a classic for a reason, and it really deserves to be a classic. Alright, now we just have to get over the... Actually, that's a good point. How in the hell did Chum Bucket get up here? Like, he drove up from... Like, this is a cliff. This is a very, very steep cliff. How the hell did he get up here? How does that keep happening? Okay, there we go. So, let's go to the garage. The fracas frame is 500 armor. There we go. Got a little bit more. Air 500 scrap. And now we get our max maximum armor upgrade. This thing is a fucking tank now. That steel would make beautiful wings for the magnum opus. Okay, and with that out of the way, we can go back to Gut Gash for his next mission, whatever the hell it might be. Wait, is that shirtless Max? Do I have that costume available? Oh, holy shit, I do. I can be fucking bra burly max but it gives me no armor whatsoever i'm gonna wear this for a bit i'm gonna try this out just for a little while see if i like it though i will say with um with no shirt and full gauntlets i look like i'm fucking like wearing these fucking power fists on me i'm just gonna quickly uh see if i can maybe take everything off Yeah, okay, so this is as minimal as Max can get. Apparently, Falcon 
I kind of like it. It's kind of got like a like a venom snake look to him. Spit out the eye patch. You brought has been very useful. And I could sure use your help again. Now, you know my people believe that the big wet shall once again splash these barren shores. I need them to keep believing. And the belief there's hope. But they need an idol, a relic of the water gods. And I think I found it. What is it? An idol of a critter of the ocean. It will give them the hope that they need. And their hope will see us through. You'll find it in the wall north of here. Use your long ones. They're called binoculars, man. You know, you, you know what the word is. Okay, so yeah, find the animal, you get a bunch of scrap. Got the steel. Drive to the harbor wall there, and yeah, we got a couple of these rings right here. So I'm not planning to get out of the car anyway, there's really no point in changing out, or changing out of the, uh, the naked snake look I'm rocking right now, so... I'll keep it on for a little while longer, I'll, try, I'll, put, I'll put my clothes back on when it's time to do a story mission. We're just knocking off the side quests for right now. God, Metal Gear Solid 5. I was really, really in love with that game for a while, but getting to the end of the uh, of the main story when you kill um, what's his name, uh, Snake Face, Skull, Skull Face. That, that was his name, Skull Face. And the game just kind of like ends shortly after that with no real resolution. Uh, I wasn't a fan of that. Like I'm sure if Kojima had had the time to really finish it out, he could have made something really good out of it. But it's disappointing, really, all things considered. What is it? Some kind of billboard. But to get it, I have to go around and find a way into that storm drain. That's in the Dead Baron's seat. We have to go around. Dead Baron's Pass is the nearest entry. Dead Baron's Pass. I want to say it's probably around here somewhere, but... The game doesn't really seem to want to tell me... Okay, you know, here we go. Yeah. Entrance to the storm drains, right here. Out of curiosity, how far do I have to go? Wow. I am not going that far for this. Um... Yeah, this is probably the closest one. But yeah, Metal Gear Solid V, great gameplay, great mechanics, great story. Kind of fumbles at the end because it was only half finished. Konami will never again make a decent game because they, they fire everybody who's good at it. Where am I supposed to be going? Left? Yeah, left. Get your piston down! Sharpshooter! What sharpshooter? I took out every single sniper in the game. There's no one left. Yeah, the map says take this road, so I'm gonna take this road. I may or may not want to take off some armor just so I can actually get some acceleration in this car, but at the same time, I just like having all the armor on me. I didn't even think I damaged the car, I just knocked it away. There we go, back on the road. This might be it. Where am I going? Oh, there we go. Ominous leads down to Utter darkness. I'll go check it. You bring the car down if you see a flare. Oh, I want not for it, but I will. Got 
I see fucking phone. The storm drains. Old storm drain system. Thanks, game. Alright. Time to see if I can survive being in here with no upgrades whatsoever. What? Sentry. I feel like I snapped his neck and then he asked what. That was kind of weird. What you got here with a flashlight? I shouldn't be able to sneak up on anybody. No maintenance tunnel. Uh, something's lurking in there. Turn the light off. See if I can sneak around. See, I'm not doing as much damage as I used to because all of my uh, all of my abilities are gone. But because I've got these instant kills, it really doesn't matter. Single touch. I'm sure there was a point to coming down here, but I've forgotten what it was. Yeah, light's definitely a good idea. Yeah, you guys can just follow me where I'm going. I'm not going to chase after you. I got, I'm a busy man. I got stuff to do. Yep, here they all come. I'm not getting experience points for killing these guys, so they're not really a concern of mine right now. Good. Just got to get this thing out of here. Can I open this? Or am I about, am I about to get jumped? Oh, there we go. Max just bodily threw that thing with his with his sheer force of uh, of strength. Ouch! Yeah, you could probably just strap that to the hood of your car. 200 scrap. Oh boy, is it Christmas? Okay, uh, yeah, that's all the missions right now for, uh, for Gut Gash and Jeet. We'll head back to Pink Eye's place and we can upgrade the rest of the projects. As soon as I remember where the hell they are in here. One of the annoying things about these places is that things aren't really laid out logically, so you have to kind of have to like wander until you find the right nook and cranny where the thing's supposed to be. Yep. And this is the last one. Nope, this one's already done. I think it might be on the top level. Nope, not here. Yep, there it is, right over there. And with this, all three strongholds will be completely upgraded. We'll just go ahead and watch this cutscene, because I think I've earned it.
Oh, there is no cutscene, it's just done. Yeah, that's everything. I'm gonna go ahead and put my clothes back on if you guys don't mind. Uh, I can probably try putting on a different, uh... Oh, good lord, look at that. I just, I'm sorry, I don't like the look of, like... Mountain Man Mad Max. I just, I can't handle it. I'm sorry. Yeah, there we go. That's as, 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 as shaven as you're likely to get, unfortunately. And we'll get my quad barrel shotgun out, which I still have no idea how the hell that thing even works. There we go. Okay, so the projects, or the, uh, the missions. They are all taken care of. That just leaves the story mission. So yeah, let's head off to Gastown, shall we? Um, this is probably closer.